In today's video, we're going to be talking about what it could potentially take for the spot price of silver to climb its way all the way up to $150 an ounce. And I'm also doing a brand new giveaway in the VIP club right now. Join before August 1st to automatically get entered. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, I wanted to talk about $150 an ounce silver. This was actually inspired by a comment that I had received from a viewer of mine. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Sunday, July 25th, 2021. It's actually still Friday the 23rd as I'm recording the video. So I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver climbing its way up to $150 an ounce. From where it is today to get to that point, it would need to about 6x. And there's two different ways that this could really happen. Two main ways, I should say. I'm sure there's other ways as well. But believe it or not, before I even get into that, I just wanted to quickly acknowledge a comment that I had received on June 20th of last year. It was from a viewer of mine who has commented on plenty of videos. He watches my videos all of the time. He goes by Maranyuk, and he told me that silver is going to hit $150 in six months. Screenshot this if you think I'm kidding. To which I responded, didn't you say that six months ago? <laughs> because he seems to say this every couple of months. and. He then went on to say that he wanted to make a bet. So I told him, I'm marking my calendar, December 20th, 2020. If silver is $149.99 or lower, you owe me a silver eagle. And he told me, okay. Completely slipped my mind. Forgot all about it until today, until I was going through my old screenshots. Came across this, so I just wanted to say, Maranyuk, I hope you're a man of your word. My P.O. box is in the description. I'll be waiting for that Silver Eagle. Thank you in advance, I can't wait to receive it. And I'm also gonna leave something else in the description, something non-Silver related, because really quick, Weeble has this new promotion going on. If you download the app with my referral link and deposit $5, you get two free shares. And then once your account's settled, you could just send the $5 back to your bank account and what's going on right now is if you refer three friends after that, they're going to give you a free share of Papa John's pizza. Random, strange, kind of funny, kind of interesting. Help me get my slice of pizza. Link in the description. But now moving away from all of that, I wanted to talk about how silver could potentially make its way to $150 an ounce. Thank you. Maranyuk for inspiring this video. So first things first, $150 an ounce for silver. For silver to reach that point, the spot price would need to 6x from where it is. Well, either that or spot price would need to go up by a lot and premiums would have to really take off, causing the stack price to reach $150. The grand total out the door cost of each individual troy ounce of silver. Spot price plus the average premium at the time. It can really be caused by one of two main things, or potentially both at once. One of which being, the global silver demand continues to grow, which is what I'm expecting to happen anyway, since we're moving further and further into the digital age. We all know silver plays a huge role in a variety of different industries, the jewelry industry, silverware, etc., 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 but silver's also used in microchips, circuit boards, phones, computers, etc., etc., etc. So the growing demand for silver 
paired with the shrinking supply over an extended period of time, will inevitably lead to the spot price increasing. That's just what happens, supply and demand. When demand exceeds supply, prices go up. And this is something that we have seen time and time again. We've seen it happen with precious metals. We've seen it happen with real estate. We've seen it happen with stocks. We've seen it happen with really everything. That's just what happens. So my honest expectation is that over an extended period of time, now that we're moving more and more into the digital age, everything is becoming much more digitalized. Everything is on a computer nowadays. It's just gonna lead to silver being more and more used and more and more in demand. This is my honest expectation. I don't even really think it's an expectation. I think it's just pretty much what is going to happen. And over an extended period of time, I would expect to see a slow, steady rise in the spot price of silver from that right there. But that is one of two ways silver could make its way up to $150 an ounce. The other way we could see that happen isn't exactly very pleasant to think about. It would be for the economy to end up completely in shambles. And I'm talking about worse than what happened in 2020. More inflation over time, butchering the dollar bill. In a lot of cases, the value of the US dollar is tied to the value of precious metals. Not talking about the gold standard or the silver standard or anything like that, but oftentimes it's almost like a mirror image. When currency goes up, money can go down. When currency goes down, money can go up. So sure, one could say that it's no big deal for the economy to be in shambles since we have been using silver to store value and hedge against inflation all along. But think about what life could possibly look like at that point. Imagine the price of houses by then. Imagine the price of rent. Renting a one-bedroom apartment might cost $4,000 a month. A week's worth of groceries for one person might be $800. A t-shirt from the DYDSS store might be 45 bucks, for all we know. But point being is that people like to think that the spot price of silver skyrocketing would simply mean that they got rich. When in all actuality, what it could really mean is that we're going through an economic catastrophe and the silver might end up being what we rely on to keep us afloat, which is what I've been saying for how many years now? I've been stacking for about three and a half years and I've been saying it for maybe three of the last three and a half years. The silver, at least for me, I know everyone's stacking for different reasons, but for me personally, I don't view it as a way of getting rich. I don't expect to ever get rich off of my silver and my gold. I don't even want to get rich off of my silver and my gold. If I get rich, I would rather do it another way. The silver and gold, it's not a way of making money because it is money. For me, it's a way of saving money in what I consider to be a much smarter and safer and more private way than by leaving it in a savings account in the bank. Because let's face it, if you're watching eight minutes deep into this video, if you've made it this far, odds are you're on board with the precious metals. Odds are you're stacking silver and gold. Odds are you've been for quite a bit of time. And I think if you're involved in the precious metals, you probably understand the downside to a savings account. You probably understand that a 0.0001% interest rate is not going to be inflation while you're letting all that cash sit there, not working for you, not being productive, and just simply depreciating in value. See, that's what I like about the silver and the gold. It's a store of value, not a savings account at the bank in someone else's possession, doing nothing but going down in value. The silver and the gold, 
I know a lot of people like to think of it as an investment. I personally do not. A lot of people put their cash into an investment of some sort for the value to go up rather than in a savings account for the value to go down. But the silver and gold, I see it as a way of just simply storing the value. An example I've used in the past, if you were to put $10 into silver today and the spot price doubles over time, you can now cash out for $20. But what it really did was preserve that purchasing power because the $10 you put in initially might only be able to get you $5 worth of stuff today. But if you cash out the silver and get the $20, that $20 can get you $10 worth of stuff today, whether it be food, supplies, or something else. So for me, it's a way of storing value. It appears to go up in value, but guess what? It only goes up in value according to the dollar bill standard. It's not going up in value in any other way. It's just going up in value according to what the spot price is, which is measured in US dollars. If you remove the US dollars from the equation, the silver is still silver. It's still an ounce of silver, 10 ounces of silver, a million ounces of silver. That doesn't change. That's constant. So I think that's really important to remember. Now, moving away from all that, this in no way, shape, or form is a prediction video, nor is it what I'm hoping for. I would never in a million years want the economy to completely collapse just so I can quote unquote get rich off of silver. If you want my honest opinion, I think that would be incredibly selfish of me. I've said time and time again over the course of several years now that I would rather have a healthy economy with a low spot price of silver. And funny enough, I was actually called selfish for that. I thought I want silver to be as low as possible so I can get as much as possible, and I want the economy to be in good shape. I was called selfish because what I want wouldn't get other people quote unquote rich off of silver. When in all actuality, I think what's actually selfish is hoping for and crossing your fingers and praying for everyone to suffer and struggle and go through financial pain just so you can reap the benefits from a currency standpoint. I don't know, something tells me my way of going about things and my view of the situation isn't nearly as self-centered as that right there. But as I said at the beginning of the video, everyone's stacking for diff different reasons. I'm not here to say anyone's wrong. I'm not here to say that I'm right. I'm not here to say that I'm gonna be correct on everything. No, absolutely not. I've been wrong in the past and I'll be wrong again in the future. But it's important to think about these things. It's important to take a look at a different point of view. And I'm just thinking out loud over here, offering a different perspective on things. Don't forget to get your two free shares by downloading Weeble and making a $5 deposit. And then if you refer three friends, they give you a free share of Papa John's pizza. Link in the description. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and. Let me know what you think of everything that I shared in today's video. What do you think it would take for the spot price of silver or for gold to completely take off, or at the very least, 6x? What do you think it would take for the spot price to just completely shoot to the moon on the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways. Brand new one going on right now. Join before August 1st to automatically get entered. Discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free come join the precious metals vip club it'll be the first link in the description you're invited i'd be happy to have you and if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button 
If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to hypothetical arbitrary number, $150 an ounce silver, what do you think it would take for that to happen? Do you think it would just simply take the demand for silver continuing to go up and when demand exceeds supply we see the price start to increase do you think it would be more likely for that to happen but maybe not all the way up to 150 dollars maybe a hundred dollars with 50 dollar premiums do you think that's a little bit more likely or do you think economic hardships is the more likely scenario do you think inflation continuing to pulverize the dollar bill and diminish and destroy the purchasing power of our currency, do you think that's what it would take for the strength or how our precious metals are measured to begin going up? Do you think it's going to be the opposite effect of the currency going down leading to the money going up? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.